Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna and today I'm going to show you the cutest flower pot that transforms into coasters. Yes, you heard me right. And this makes the perfect gift as well because the person can use as a little decor, but at the same time they are going to be having the cutest coasters ever. So I really hope you enjoy the video and now let's begin. So first I'm going to be using the 3.5 millimeters hook and I'm going to be starting with the yellow shade. So work a magic ring, chain two in which is not going to count as a stitch and then work 16 double crochets around the ring. So once you have the 16 double crochets, it's going to look like this. Now you can close the ring by pulling the end. Like so. So now go into that very first double crochet right after the chain two, pull up a loop and then slip stitch. Now chain two in which is not going to count as a stitch and then into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch work two double crochets into the following stitch work two double crochets into the same stitch and then follow that same step all the way around creating double crochet increases into every stitch around and for the second round you should have 32 stitches so once you have the 32 stitches around, slip stitch into the very first double crochet, chain two, work an increase into that very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. So two double crochets into the same stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch an increase into the following stitch, so two double crochets into the same stitch, and then one double crochet into the following stitch. So you're going to be following this all the way around. And the last stitch is going to be one double crochet into the very last stitch. And then slip stitch to the very first double crochet. And now we are done with the little round in yellow. So we can chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And then you are going to be bringing the next shade. I'm going to be using green. So work a slip knot. And you're going to be attaching this yarn right after the fasten off. So into the following stitch. So insert your hook into that stitch. You're going to pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. So attaching with a single crochet. So now you're going to chain four. So two, three and four. And you're going to double crochet into the same stitch. And this is going to be the very first little V that we are doing. So now you're going to be skipping two stitches and then into the following one, you're going to be working one double crochet, a chain of two, and one double crochet, all into that same stitch. And you can see already the little V's forming. So now just follow the same steps. Skip two into the following one, one double crochet, a chain of two, and one double crochet. And then repeat the sequence all the way around. So now skip the last two, find that very first V, skip the single crochet, count one, and then into the second chain, 
you're going to slip stitch. So now we are done with round number four. So chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And now you can bring the next shade you are using for the flowers. I am using pink. So work a slip knot. You can choose any of the V's to begin with. I'm going to be doing this one. So go into the chain two space going around like so and attaching with a single crochet. And now you're going to be chaining two. So now we are going to be creating the flowers. So work three double crochets into this same chain two space. So the first one is going to be a little bit different because we have the chain two here at the beginning. And then you're going to just release. So just pull a little bit of the loop and release from the hook. And then you're going to be inserting a hook into that chain two. So we have the single crochet, chain one and chain two. So go into that chain two. Now you're going to be catching the loop with your hook. And then you're going to be moving the loop through that chain two, just like so. Now make it nice and tight, not too tight, just a little bit. And now we are going to be working a chain two. Now going inside the flower. So we have a little gap right here where we've closed it. So go right into the center. You can see I'm going all the way through. And then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So working a single crochet. And now you're going to be repeating that two more times. So chain two go into the same spot, pull up a loop and single crochet. Chain two, go into the same spot, pull up a loop and single crochet. So now you're going to chain two and you're going to single crochet in between the V's into this little space. So going around it like so and single crochet. So here's the very first tulip. It's basically a little, a little tulip, a little flower. So now the repeat right after the single crochet is going to be chain two. And now we are going to be making the flower into the next chain two space. So work four double crochets into the next chain two space. So one, two, three and four. Release the hook from the loop, go into that very first double crochet, catch the loop and move it through, go through that first double crochet and then make it nice and tight. Now chain two, go into the center at the top of the flower right here, all the way through like so, and then pull up a loop and single crochet, chain two, go into the same spot, single crochet, chain two, go into the same spot and single crochet. So now chain two and then single crochet into the space in between the two V's. And now from here you can repeat from this single crochet again. So the chain two, the flower, the chain two and the single crochet. So I'm going to be doing one more with you guys. So chain two, make the flower. So now make the little extra piece on top of the flower, just as I did previously. And then chain two and single crochet into the space in between the two V's. And now you can repeat that all the way around, making the flowers on top of the V's, just like so. So now to finish round five, I made here my last flower into the last V. So chain two, 
single crochet into the last space in between the V's, chain two, and now you can slip stitch into any stitch beside the flower. I'm going to be using this one right here. This one. So slip stitch. So now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And now we can weave in all of the ends that we have at the back of the coaster. So now here I have the coaster completed. I have finished all the weave-ins as you can see here at the back and this is how it looks like. <gasps> Isn't this the cutest thing ever? So now I'm going to show you how to make the little pot. I'm going to be using the white yarn. This is a corded yarn, so, so beautiful. And it's the best yarn for making pots because it's super sturdy. So you can see that it's going to be perfect to store all the little coasters in here and it's not going to be flappy. So yeah, I'm going to be using this yarn. And now I'm going to be using the 5mm crochet hook with this yarn. So begin by making a magic ring, chaining one, in which is not going to count as a stitch, and then work 8 single crochets into the ring. So now close the ring, really nice and tight. So now slip stitch into the very first single crochet, like so. So here's round one. So now chain one and work two single crochets into the very first stitch where we did the slip stitch. So this is a single crochet increase. And now work two single crochets into every stitch around. So you're going to be having 16 stitches for the second round. So once you have the 16 single crochets around, slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Now chain one, increase into that very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. So two single crochets into that stitch and then the following one is going to be only one single crochet. So next stitch, work two single crochets and then following one, one single crochet and then repeat that all the way around. And into that very last one, it's going to be just one single crochet. And now you can slip stitch into the very first single crochet like so. And before we move on, we have to weave in this first. So let's do that. So chain one. And for the fourth round, we are going to be doing back loop only all the way around. And that is just here for the round number four. So back loop only into that very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. So work a single crochet, go into the following one, back loop only, single crochet, following stitch, back loop only, single crochet and then repeat that all the way around. You have a stitch here that looks like a stitch, but it's not, because this one is from the chain one, as you can see the slip stitch that we did. So make sure that you count around if you want, if you're not sure when to finish. So find the very first single crochet and slip stitch. So now we have to go around for two more rounds. So it's going to be six in total. So now we have to chain one, we are going to be using the entire stitch now and single crochet into the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch 
and now just single crochet all the way around following the stitches. So here's my last one, stitch number 24, and now I'm going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. And now we can repeat the previous round one more time so that we have six in total and then the following one we are going to be doing something different. So once I have round six completed, I will be back and then I'm going to show you the next step. So here I have six rounds now completed. So now for round seven, we are going to be increasing. If you don't want to increase, so it kind of opens up the plum pot like this, you can just continue from here going up until you have the sizing that you want for your plum pot. But I want it to be kind of angled because I think this looks really nice. So chain one, increase into that very first stitch. So two single crochets into that same stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches and increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the following stitch. So the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the same stitch. And now repeat that all the way around. So you should end up with two stitches at the end and then work one single crochet into the last two and then slip stitch into the very first single crochet. And now all you have to do is to go around for as many rounds as you want until you have the height you want for the plum pot. So now you can go ahead and follow the steps that we did for round number five, but this time we are going to be having more stitches. So we are going to be having 32 stitches around. So you're simply going to chain one, single crochet into the 32 stitches around, and then slip stitch into the very first single crochet. And then repeat that until you have the sizing that you want for your plum pot. I'm going to be doing the next three rounds following the 32 stitches now and then I will be back to show you the turning little detail at the top of the plum pot. So as you can see I have finished the three rounds just going around the 32 stitches and as you can see I have here from the beginning 10 rounds in total. So now I'm going to show you how to do the little turning detail here at the top. So for round 11, chain one and turn the plump pot like so. Find the very first stitch and then back loop only and single crochet. And you're going to be doing that all the way around. So next stitch, back loop only, single crochet. And then just repeat that all the way around. So now here's the last single crochet I'm going to be doing. Single crochet number 32. And then all you have to do now is to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Now we can chain one, cut off the yarn and we can weave in. And now the plum pot is completed. You just have to organize the little folding that we did here and also make it nice and round here at the top. So now you can go ahead and make as many coasters as you want. I made four in total, as you can see, but you can actually fit up to six little coasters inside the plum pot. The little holder. So now once you have the little set completed with the pot and the coasters we can put it together. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to be turning the coaster on the reverse and then I'm going to be folding once and twice just like so and then I'm going to be setting aside for now and then I'm going to be repeating the same to all the others. Thank you. 
once you have that you're gonna take the first one just fold one more time hold it here fold the second one place inside the pot and hold it in place fold the third one place inside the pot and hold it in place and then the last one <laughs> fold it again and place inside the pot the little holder and this is how it looks like <laughs> i can with this it's just the cutest thing ever look at this oh my gosh once you want to use it you can just use this as a little decor around the kitchen or maybe on the table it's going to look so cute look at this and then once you want to use it just pull one and then it's done oh my gosh you see how easy that is and it's just the cutest thing ever so you basically have a little decor that transforms into coasters how cool is that look at this it's just the cutest thing ever so this is how you make this super cute coaster set and this makes the best the perfect crochet gift because they can use as a little decor and also have incredible and amazing little coasters to add to the table decorations right when we are setting the table imagine having these on the table the cutest thing ever you can gift maybe for mother's day i'm going to be gifting this to my mom for mother's day and not only for mother's day you can also gift for birthdays for valentine's day for christmas i cannot wait to see your take on this one and if you end up making it don't forget to tag me on instagram on tiktok so that i can see the colors you guys are going to be using thank you so so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more videos like this one so thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you in my next video bye